G'day nuclear enthusiasts and welcome back to an extra episode for those of you that like to see the world burn we're melting the reactor core down at least I hope in terms of I've heard that it's broken but at least if this doesn't go according to plan I will definitely be using the crane tomorrow or in the next episode to break the boron control rods themselves for a more efficient way or better chances of melting the core down. So what does a core need to actually melt down? Let's see if we can start the chain reaction now. Let's set that to zero. Come on over here, set that to 100. While we're here, we know we're gonna lose power. So let's turn the generator on and make sure our batteries are in the automatic use as we just reloaded the end of episode 15. So let's see what sort of reactions we get here. And then from then, I'm gonna turn the primary loop off that's transferring the heat away from the core. And then I should be able to just turn this right off like so, as we're not really transferring any more temperature. It should be okay in just a bit to turn these off. I don't wanna to damage too much as we will be going after those three steam achievements right here. One of which is cause the meltdown itself with the five minute timer. And once that happens, we need to, secondly, second one is resurrecting it and saving the meltdown and reversing it. And then that third steam achievement would be obviously just taking the train and hi-ho Sylvie right on out of the game once that timer starts. So let's just see what happens here. And we should go here and let's just request a maintenance shutdown just for now. It might not trigger an audit where if you do an emergency shutdown, it's a 100% chance to trigger an audit. There's the lights, there's the batteries kicking on. Excellent. The generator is already on and it's already producing power to all our pumps, even though that's not on. Uh, these are all open and closed. They're good. Let's just turn that all off. We should be able to turn these off now as well as the condenser. All we have is this pump activated, so it's not really using that much in terms of power and we're producing 180. Factor is zero because we're not producing any power. Reactivity is extremely high and I don't want to speed the time up in any way, shape or form, as I've found in earlier versions of Nuclearis, it decreases your chances in causing the meltdown itself. And I'll try and mute any and all alarms in the background as fast as I can, because that noise can get a little bit deafening. So we're okay there. All of this is all good. As we found out towards the end of that week of episode 15, until we repaired loop three up after we shut down, this always continuously dropped, even if we added more to it. So that can just drop all the way to zero and we'll just repair it um, when we do the reverse meltdown procedure, uh, which if we go, that one, reverse core meltdown, right there, give it a pause and read it if you wish. And then the emergency escape plan, AKA taking the train, is that one right there. Uh, anything else is kind of explanatory. 550. Okay, we're keeping the pressure at the moment, but that can always change. I wanna see what sort of temperature we can get by just causing as minimal sorts of chain reactions as possible or as minim minimal steps as we can. While we can, get this on. Obviously we failed that 81% compliance, the exact same one we shouldn't have to begin with when we shut down. And we would have um, unlocked or gotten that 90 grand or whatever it was at 10 a.m. So that's what we were waiting for on this one to get 87,125. But we're doing a meltdown. And if this don't work, the crane will come to our rescue, hopefully. So we've got zero on that. 
mute that one. That's just critical temperature. It's one of the minor alarms. Here we go. There's the major alarm, the one you don't really want to hear. So let's just mute those as much as we possibly can. Some of them we can't, but we'll get to that stage when we get there. And these alarms here show that there's steam detected either in the steam generator room or even in the core room here itself. So we'll see how we all go. It's all off. We're going to flick alarms on and off for the time being. Still raising the temperature. That's what we want to overall see. Pressure's fluctuating a bit. Quiet you. I just got to wait for it to actually trigger. Like that. There we go. Hopefully they should stay. Pressurizers are uh, having a good time. A good old time. Can I zoom? No. Oh, I saw 23.19 for a second. Wow, okay. 740. Come on, I want you to go higher than that. I want you to hit at least maybe a thousand degrees. We're creating a lot of steam in there. Seven fifty. Still hopefully coming up. Seven sixty. Pressurizers all whack. If necessary, we can get rid of the P in PWR. Um, but technically, we want steam in the reactor to cause that negative coefficient for more temperature, I'm thinking. But it could obviously be that this meltdown feature may be broken itself. Hmm. There's 790. Can we hit 800 at least? Oh. Quiet you. Yeah, when that pressure fluctuates, so does the temperature. Eighty point seven five. Yeah, now the temperature's starting to drop. Let's see what happens when I open the core vent. Mm. Let's give it a bit. Maybe even turning these on will flow some water into it. No, because then it's transferring temperature away, Sharpie. Good job. Don't know if it's coming up, going down. I'm pretty sure overall it's going down. I think it could just very well be... broken, perhaps. Come down a bit. It's like it might be coming up overall. No, it's dropping back down again. I think that is showing that it's not going to work. We'll wait till this gets to absolute zero maybe first and just let it play out as is to guarantee it so let's speed the timer which I uh, I'll go 2x speed I really don't want to go too much more than that oh there's a pop-up at least that shows hopefully something positive towards a meltdown never thought I'd hear myself say that we're at a massive High reactivity level. 
What sort of a factor have we got? 118. Yep. It's about right. Um, wait for this to go to absolute zero. Then hopefully things should get real when that's already emptied. Okay. We're just waiting for this to go to zero and hopefully that's when things should get real. At least from what I can remember from memory. Oh. Um, not that sort of change. I didn't think that would happen. I honestly didn't think that would happen. Um, just wait it out even more. <laughs> now they're like, you can shut down. Uh, guys, we were shutting down a long time ago. And we have practically no temperature in our core. Hmm. I honestly don't think anything's going to happen. Yeah. We do have radiation somewhere in the plant. At least not where we are. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. What happens if I override? Core destroyed. Oh, voltage drop has occurred. No ah! good. Um, Okay, so the radiation suit can only do so much. Okay, till next time guys, I guess we'll uh, try again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Comment your thoughts down below, even though I will be trying again straight after this. So make sure you stick around for that one for take two. Till next time, stay sharp, as always. See ya.